Just imagine you click on this video on whatever device you are currently watching on, some epic and suspenseful music is playing in the background right now, music that I can't actually play because copyright would literally destroy me, and on top of that is some visually appealing action footage that I also can't play because copyright is breathing down my neck right now, and I also can't make either of them because I'm neither a music producer nor an animator. But you know what, that is completely fine and I'm not even worried about it not even in the slightest because I told you guys to imagine that stuff you know if Spongebob taught us anything then all we have to do is make this moment a whole lot better by using our imaginations so I opened up Twitter just two days ago now and the first thing I saw was a tweet from our great new friend here in the Roblox community Tommy Tellerico or you may also know him as the creator of the oof sound now this man created the death sound and you are most certainly gonna want to hear what he had to see. The second I saw that he had attached an image of the Roblox oof sound and that the first two words were big announcement, I knew that whatever I was about to read, whether it be good or bad, would be absolutely insane. Big announcement from Roblox and Roblox developer relations today. From the announcement, Tommy has decided to allow us to postpone removing the oof sound until next year. I want to make sure it stays in there at least until the developer's marketplace is launched. Please, I am begging, let the Roblox gods above bless this man because we were just 10 days away from watching the Roblox death sound meet its very sad fit. But now we have months and months left with it and truth be told, even when it gets removed from Roblox as the main death sound, Tommy decided to allow developers to purchase the oof sound to use in their Roblox games for a very small fee of just 100 Robux. Just to clarify, that's only 100 Robux to use it in your game. You don't need to pay 100 Robux to hear it in a game. We should be eternally grateful and yet people still continue to act in the same exact way and I think it's kind of unnecessary and unjustified to get upset and all up in arms about the situation isn't going to flip everything and magically give you the outcome that you personally would like to see. Hello there, please make sure to leave a like on this video and you'll become my favourite person in the whole entire world, I promise. And of course, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because we are just 18,000 away from our goal of 300,000 subscribers. So see Seeing and reacting to angry Roblox players is always a rather pleasant activity that I just love putting myself through, so I will eagerly be awaiting completing that task towards the end of the video, but I just quickly want to sk skim through the announcement from Roblox themselves. There have been some rumours that the developer marketplace is being expanded at the end of the month, and as much as we wish that were true, it's not the case. So I suppose people started getting confused with the fact that they had scheduled to remove the oof sound by the end of November but they also claim to release the sound into the upcoming developer marketplace, so I can absolutely see where the confusion comes from, but said marketplace isn't coming to Roblox until sometime during 2021. Because of this, and because of the overwhelming amount of feedback, Tommy has decided to allow us to postpone removing the oof sound until next year, ideally after the developer marketplace is available and developers can update the game over sound effect with audio of their choice. I don't understand how some people can continue to be negative towards such generous actions from someone who literally just found out that their work had been getting used in a massive game for over a decade and without permission or even without his knowledge. And now that same person has decided to let us keep the sound until sometime next year when the developer marketplace comes into play, at which point Roblox developers can still purchase the oof sound and use it in their games for just 100 Robux. What more do people want? Once the marketplace is live, any developer, including Tommy, will have the opportunity to distribute sound effects and other assets to the developer community. It will be up to the creator of the content to determine whether it will be free or paid on the marketplace. I haven't talked about this enough, but the developer marketplace is going to end up being an incredible thing because not only does it provide better chances at work and big opportunities to people who specialise in creating sound effects or sounds for games, but it's also going to change sound design in Roblox games forever and I cannot wait. You know, I've seen people even going as far as to complain about the sound kits and it's kind of disappointing, like how are we going to stand by and watch someone who owes Roblox nothing create thousands and thousands of sound effects for the developers to use for some extremely cheap prices and still bring yourself to voice useless complaints. People saying that the sound effect packs that Tommy created aren't what we wanted and that no one is going to use them but 
but that couldn't be further from the truth if they tried their best. I myself have seen multiple big Roblox developers all over Twitter talking about how they purchased the largest pack that they had to offer and even after telling my brother about this update with the oof sound situation, the first thing he did was go off and buy the sound effect pack to use for himself and in his own games. So even from a personal point of view I can tell you that these sound kits are definitely getting used and I would even go as far as to say that they are gonna vastly improve a lot of Roblox games. Now of course people still aren't happy with this new update and if anything they either seem just as upset or even more so from when it got announced that the sound would perish towards the end of November and I just don't understand why. I mean I even saw someone saying that by taking the oof sound out of the game they are completely ruining our lives because that absolutely makes sense and that's just how it works. Please make the oof sound stay forever, Roblox is never the same without it. People are really torn up about this and I suppose I can see why and even I can say that it will be slightly weird to hear a whole new sound replace, something that we have known and heard since the day Roblox got released. Fairly large changes like this take a lot of getting used to but I'm still trying to make people understand the generosity of what Tommy is actually doing for our community. Tommy has already been extremely generous considering a multi-billion dollar company has been using his copyrighted work for a decade without his permission. Exactly, I, I really couldn't have said it any better myself. I don't know if anyone remembers what happened the first time we encountered this being a problem, but rumours of Tommy suing Roblox for a lot of money had been spreading around, which I'm pretty sure they did turn out to be false, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. The oof sound was originally from a game called Messiah that got released in the year 2000, being a sound that Tommy himself created and had created it only for that game. I have no idea how Roblox got it six years later and I'm equally as clueless as to why they decided to use it in their game for the last 14 years or so. But after over a decade of wrongfully using the sound, that's when the creator of the sound came in and actually realised what Roblox had been doing and at first he was understandably a little bit upset and confused. I don't doubt that we would all react the exact same way, if not worse, had we been in the same situation, especially after the first response Roblox gave was that they are not removing the sound because Tommy doesn't own the sound. But instead of becoming angry and actually going through with suing Roblox, he decided to work with them and give us, as the community, the best possible outcome for the oof sound situation plus more. So I think people need to be a little bit nicer and any negative comments about this from now on are no longer valid. But I really guess think of Tommy, the official creator of the oof deaf sound, now deciding not to remove it from Roblox until sometime next year. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.